You are watching Fugitive Red Eye, and it's time for another episode of Flashbacks. It's been a good while since I've done an episode of Flashbacks, so uh, I figured it was about time I did another. This time I'll be talking about a game I played as a kid, and for the first time ever, I'm actually picturing the game here. This is Wolfenstein 3D. This is a game I played as a kid, uh, and to a much bigger extent later on in life. Uh, and as, as a kid, I only knew this game as the shooting game. Uh, that being said, this is also the only video game my dad will play. He's not the biggest video game fan, but he, he put so much time into this game, and he's, he's better at this game than I am. Uh, we only play this game on the hardest difficulty, just because otherwise it's not enough fun. And uh, as I mentioned previously, I will be doing a full playthrough of this game on the hardest difficulty, so um, that's going to come once I finish the Conquer video. But that being said, um, it's nice to finally have the actual thing I'm talking about pictured here for once because of the backwards compatibility, so... I'm thinking this is part one of a three-parter, about three classic shooters. Uh, up next uh, is, a, well, you'll see them as they come out. I don't know if I'm going to do them as a three-parter, but I've got a few other plans coming out. Anyway, this isn't a random thoughts or a channel update, so down to the game. The game itself, um, as you can see, is a very old first-person shooter. If anything, it's one of the first first-person shooters, if not the first-person first shooter. And at the very least... It was one of the first games to popularize the first-person genre. So, that being said, this game was created by id Software back in 1992. Originally as a shareware, and it's been ported to pretty much uh, every console you can think of, for the most part. Hell, it was even on Game Boy Advance. It was even on 3DO, too. Um, there's the Super Nintendo version that was much, much more censored, where they replaced, like, the dogs that you fight with giant rats, as well as, uh, they removed all the Nazi references. As you can see, this game, you, uh, kill Nazis. Um, this game was sort of a precursor to Doom, uh, but that being said, it, it's really a fun game. I played it when I was, like, five all the time, and we played on a floppy disk at my grandma's house on this computer she had in her bedroom back then. It was just this old Windows 95 computer, and I played, a, I played this game on a floppy disk. So, you know, that goes to show um, how times have changed. But this game is has always been a classic, and I've played through it multiple times. It's very fun, and uh, I never get sick of it. Like, after I play a game for a while, I get sick of it, so... But this is one of the few exceptions where I don't get sick of the game. Now, obviously, uh... By today's standards, the graphics and the fact that you can't jump and whatnot may not appeal to people who bitch about graphics, but to those people I say... Go to hell. But, uh... <laughs> if you don't like this game... I guess that's, you know, on you, but... I really love this game. And I really love Doom, as well as Duke Nukem, and to a lesser extent, Marathon. There's a lot of old classic shooters. And although they call these dumb shooters, they expected quite a bit more from the player. You have to, uh, actually solve a few different things here, and you have to... It's sort of a where-the-fuck-do-I-go kind of game. Um, as you can see, I have a chain gun here. Um, you have to find this. The first place you can get one is the second level. Now, if you notice, I'm kind of in the habit of uh, saving and loading, because that comes very much in handy on this game. Um, on the PC version, you can enter a code to uh, give yourself full health and the strongest weapon and full ammo, but obviously on this version there are no cheats, because this is the Xbox version. Now, that being said, I've got this game, I've got the Super Nintendo version of this game on my emulator, and I've got... Uh, the Game Boy version as well, but this version is the best one I have because it's the, uh, at least very true to the original version, but, uh, with a few, with one major difference, the Pac-Man level was altered to not have the Pac-Man ghosts, but instead replace them with Hitler ghosts. That being said, I will be showing a video about the Pac-Man level later on during the full playthrough. I will go to the Pac-Man level and uh, maybe even do it as an excerpt. I haven't decided yet, but this game is very fun. And originally the final boss was Hitler, but then they added on more levels. So the final boss was a giant named uh, Gretel Gross, I believe is the final one. Don't quote me on that. But uh, anyway, this has been Fugitive Red Eye, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Flashbacks. Stay tuned for next time.